Powerful Apps with App Designer. This is Rosa Lederman for Arcadia Data. With App Designer, you can quickly build custom business intelligent apps from existing dashboards and visuals. You can customize their appearance and navigation, and then securely share them with the intended audience. Let us start a new app in the visuals interface. As you can see, the App Designer opens on the navigation tab. I will name the app Exploring National Parks and name the first tab All National Parks. Next, let us add our first dashboard to the tab. In the Dashboards menu from the National Geographic Features data set, we select the National Parks dashboard. It automatically appears on the tab. Let us now save the new app. After saving the app for the first time, notice that it has a new ID number, 33, and the information about the last update and who did it. On the top navigation bar, notice Save, Undo, and Launch App, and the supplemental menu that contains Clone, New Dashboard, New App, and Delete App. Notice also that currently the app is in the private workspace. Let us start another menu tab and title it Grasslands. From the same data set, add the National Grasslands Dashboard to the tab. Let us add yet another menu tab, title it Forests, and then add the National Forest Dashboard. Notice that you can have more than one dashboard for each tab. Moving dashboards between tabs is very simple. Just drag and drop. Here I will add another tab and call it Maps. As you can see, the same dashboard can appear in more than one tab of an app. A couple of notes about moving dashboards between menu tabs. You can simply drag and drop them. However, you cannot add a dashboard to a tab that already has the same dashboard. Reordering tabs is very simple. You just pick up a tab and drag it to the desired position. Let us save our work. Now I'm cloning an app and changing the name of the cloned app to National Parks. Remember that we built our first app in a private workspace. We can move this one to the public workspace very easily. Save the new app. To customize styling, let us move to the App Style tab, which shows how the app would look when we are finished. On the Style menu, select Custom Logo and enter the URL of the image. It can be a static asset or any other image. Save the app to update it. We can also adjust the app background. Here we're going to change the background color to white to match the dashboard and remove the dashboard shadow to make for a seamless appearance. When customizing the menu bar, you can change its main color, the bottom of the highlight color, and the color selection. We can also adjust the text of the menu bar by changing the font, font size, font weight, text color, and the color of the selected text. Now that we've finished customizing, let us launch the app. The app appears in a new browser tab, and you can see the dashboard navigation tabs at the bottom. Across the top, you can also see the tabs for app navigation that we created when building the app. Let us return to App Designer. There's a setting that lets you see the visuals page by clicking on the logo. Another setting displays the menu tabs on the left. Save and launch the app again. The menu tabs are now on the left, and they can be hidden by clicking the arrow. When you click the logo, you navigate to the visuals interface. You can see the first app we created in the private workspace, the one we cloned and customized, is in the public workspace. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, see our product documentation.